Oh my gosh. You got whole classes on pictures. My parents, they bought this house when we were all grown, and I think they bought it just so they could shop. That was their relationship. And they've been to your guys' auction. Guess it's like a vase. Interesting piece of art glass. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire, and in this video, well, it's a little different than you see in a lot of other people's videos. As an auctioneer, not only do I buy storage units, but I get to go and help people out in all kind of different situations. And sometimes I'm dealing directly with the people. A lot of times I'm dealing with the family. The person ends up passing away. Sometimes they leave behind huge, huge collections, houses, barns, all kind of things full of stuff. Other times it might just be an apartment with a few curio cabins with their collection. And in this video, you get to see both. The one couple collected for over 40 years filled up a beautiful, huge house with all kind of awesome things. You guys won't believe some of the stuff you see. And the auction is the 40-year collecting auction. You get to buy almost everything you see. You'll get to buy it. It's up for auction. Go to the website. And then the second house, the lady had her unbelievable collection of these curio cabinets. And all that stuff will be coming up for auction also. And you guys could buy it. We ship all over the world. So that's the great thing. You get to see the stuff. And if you actually like it, you have an opportunity to purchase it. And you will not believe what the 40-year collection's like. And you won't believe what this other lady, her mother, collected. So appreciate you all watching. Don't forget, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's free. Check out this awesome video. You can check and see if it's open, but it's... Somebody's pretty, coming. Yeah, it's pretty hard to turn the knob. I see the door. It's yeah. Fixed. <laughs> The handle gets stuck. I'm Meanwhile, Robert. You I'm Rachel. Hello, Robert. Hi. How are you doing? Bill. Bill, pleasure. To the left. To the left and come and in. To the right. Yeah, he's coming in. To the left, to the right. <laughs> Hello, how are we doing? Hi. I'm Robert. Okay. Yeah, Say who the hell is the dude that came in with hey, Rachel? Puppy. Damn, she already cheated on Brian. I told you I was going to cheat. I'm Nicole, Rachel, and Starla. How you doing? With my husband, Rich. Hello, Rich. And this is Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Come on, Sophia, calm down. So, what are you talking about? There's a light in there, Bill. Oh, I see you got a JoJo bow. Uh-huh. Hey, little puppy. So you got off the bus last? Huh? Did you then get off the bus first? Did she tell you that was coming? Holy smoke. Mm. 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 Oh, this one, this place is huge. And from outside, it doesn't look so big. Coming here, it's like, oh yeah, you should buy the house. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I, I, I my what my in there? my business partner just bought a house down the street from here. There's still rooms they ain't even unpacked yet. Trailers. Said so you just keep pulling out stuff, huh? Yeah. Some jadeite. That's a porcelain. Green glass, carnival glass, pink glass, green depression glass. First painted glass, Shirley Temple. And we're riding on we still got boxes. Four foot by three foot, like old medicine cabinet. I think it's Tiger Wood, um, like a really old one. And then there's a couple of cabinets in there, like tables. 
Like I said, we had sound, you wouldn't even realize we had sound. Yeah. It's a little grass up all over Man, the ceiling's in here, unbelievable. Wow. I don't know, they gotta do 35 mile an hour. That's a bling lamp, huh? That's yeah, a... <laughs> I sort of made that lamp. Yeah, found a base and put the shade on it. Cool. Looks good. Because I've looked it up before and I forget what the mile per hour was that so they had to do to be strictly running at that type of scale. Nerf Forex. Nerf Forex. They look over every little thing. So, you know, it's it's a weird. So, even when you get a tank, I was looking for 500. That weird. Banjo clock. Or 400. But you know, people already want to knock you down, so I just looked to get for 500. Yeah, we did they off for four. I had three people off for 250 and I told them, nope, get out of here. That tank's well worth, it's worth four hours. If it was newer, it'd be worth even more. Buddha. <clears throat> I got the background. This house is huge. So you guys are trying to sell the house too, huh? Yeah. Right. You got lots of stuff. We've just been dealing with it for so long, we're just basically we're all just done. So you guys sell, I mean, you must have sold a lot, huh? Yeah, but we just keep on packing. <laughs> Buy more stuff and more stuff. Oh yeah, I still got a room upstairs full of boxes. Monster High, Clocks Radios. From down here, it's full of nothing but pictures. Oh my gosh. This room right here is like another thing. We haven't even opened it to the public. It's just pictures. Oh, what a smoke you want line. Yeah, that's a lot of art. <laughs> Beautiful frames. Very weird night. Oh my gosh, the whole class is all pictures. My parents, they bought this house when we were all grown, and I think they bought it just so they could shop. That was their relationship. And they've been to your guys' auction, it was John and Diane. Oh, yes. So they just kind of light the. Man, yeah, that's beautiful. Buy, buy. Yeah. That was their passion between each other. Something they enjoyed together. Yeah. Yeah, my they, wife hates stuff, so. <laughs> they would get lost and travel and take an enclosed trailer with them and just go, like they would start at that yard sale where it went all the way to Alabama. Oh, yeah, that huge. They would do that. This is their bedroom set. Stuff laying all in there. There's lamps everywhere. Oh, yeah, she had these up in the attic. They were just lamp after lamp up there. That's where she stored all the lamps. Oh. Yeah, someone had that. So you guys got everything out of the attic then? <laughs> or no? You still have stuff up there? You still have some little stuff up there. Wow. That's crazy furniture. I mean, that's pretty ornate, huh? Yeah. I wonder who makes it. Let's see if there's a name on this one. Nope, no name. <laughs> Yeah, uh, oh my gosh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Twelve lamps. We just, I think a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have a phone table that's a mix edition back there. Um, but we have, okay, I see we have it. a budget set of here that's been hanging on it, and it's the headboard of the board back or something. And a lot of stuff. I see dolls and 
Glassware furniture. We honestly don't know what's in all these bags. I mean, there's some old games. And... They used to come here, guys, to auction all of them. Oh, yeah. And they would always, you would think they were just a poor old little couple, and they weren't. Like they were poor, so I would make it up. <laughs> <laughs> At least they got you to think that, huh? <laughs> and we have stuff on uh, this upstairs part. We have a garage pool. My mom and dad got like these Chinese drop ceilings and tile sales we were having. Like when they would ask for something, I tried to find it. It was just so hard to find it. I can imagine. I'm up here trying to look through a box and give up. Like, and I was just check back. We put new boxes out every day. <laughs> we only could have packed a box at a time. These cabinets came out of um, that old school. I don't know if it was on Wilson. It used to be in the classroom. Wow. And I remember my ex-husband was one of the of where he helped condemn the school, and they had all the old, the old old stuff in there, and they got these from there. Huh. And I think that's where the medicine that's a medicine cabinet is a storage cabinet. Yeah, it looks like solid oak. They're nice, heavy. This looks like stuff you haven't even unpacked. Yep. I see there's pictures on stuff. On some of the stuff. Yeah, we did uh when she first passed away on New Year's, we had us siblings would spend months in packing but we didn't have to and they loved their diapers, packing things in diapers. So we'd have to unpack it in diapers to see what it was, take a picture of it and repack it in their diapers. Wow. That's including my parents. You have a barn out there. You got the garage. You have a stuff in the storage. Interesting. Interesting. Wow, wow, wow. That collection. There's antiques. There's things you guys didn't even get to see. Comic books. There's tons and tons of Barbies. I think there's like 50, 60 brand new Barbies from the 80s, the 90s. Wizard of Oz Barbies, just unbelievable stuff. There's models and toys. There's so much. you got to look at the auction. The auction is February 17th, www.secondsense.com. Take a look at that auction. Now, let's go take a look at this lady's mom's apartment. Be careful here. It looks like something... Dripping down. Yeah, it was... And I don't want you to... Let me see. I don't know that I can get a light in there. I got my phone light. Let's just open this up here. What are those Hummel, or what are those? I think they're Dresden. What are they called? Which ones? You've got a whole cabinet in front of you full of them. Oh, these? I thought they were Dresden. I know she paid big bucks for all of those. So they're not Dresden. So they're, they're not. I don't know. I don't see. I'll have to do some research on the mark. Just gotta be careful because these things are so easy. Fred, Jilly. Huh? I said you just gotta be careful because when you try to touch these, you just gotta make sure you grab them in the right spot because uh, they're so fragile. The lacing. So this looks like it's Dresden. Popular yeah. style back. I know, she paid a lot of money for those. I can imagine. Okay, now there's that, that Hummel, or whatever it is, there's a couple of them there out. I'm seeing a Hummel. And then I is. probably am not really interested in any of the china in there either. Mm -hmm. 
Fostoria Crystal. It's a really tough mark. Let's see how this mark looks. Vienna. Austrian. Huh? I said it's Austrian. At least these pieces are from Austria. They looked almost like German, but they're not. I think there's a couple sets in there. One is fairly newer, but one was like my grandma's or great grandma's. Yeah, I was going to say this is probably great grandmother stuff here. Because it's definitely old. This looks like the newer set right here. Is it all white? Yeah. Now you can look down below, you can look in the drawers. Um, or in the cabinets. I have no idea what to get down there. It's like some more pieces. I have my own stuff and it's like, we yep. just don't use it. That's the thing. Most people don't use the china nowadays, you know. It's just one of those, the newer generation, everyone just goes out to eat. If they have a party. Or disposable plates. Because no one wants to do dishes, you know? I don't blame them. I don't blame them either. Huh. Guess it's like a vase. Interesting piece of art glass. Oh yeah, I'm like oh, well, I'm a licensed and bonded auctioneer with the state of Ohio. So yeah, we have insurance and like I said I have a Okay, everything in that the only thing that won't go is um the white uh on the third shelf down. This stuff right here in the mug glass? The ribbon glass or whatever. This? Yeah, all that. That's what you're keeping. Well, I have a friend. Almost any. I don't know. Some of it I may. Right now, I'm just not really. She liked the cats, huh? Hmm? She liked the cats. Oh, yes. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh no. Don't fall around. Now that one in particular, a couple of those I want to keep. Alright. But most of that can go. Boom, boom, boom. And you can look in the drawers or... Planters and glass. Okay, and I have more. I'm sure. Oh, well, that's a good idea. The cart. Well, when it's hard for me, I can put things in here. It maneuvers so easily. I go down to the steps, and then I go here, son. Come. And my son can take things down. In here, um, probably everything goes. Does she have stuff worth selling? Yeah, I mean, you have some stuff worth value for sure. I don't know, some reason these like paperweights and art glass things, they always sell well. Things, things like this, I don't know why, but they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Tristan. Wow, did you see that collection? She had all kind of really nice. There's crystal glass. All those cats, I would say 90 some percent of them is Baccarat crystal. That's right, Baccarat crystal. Look it up. I mean, those cats are worth, you know, some are worth 30, 40, 50, 100, 200 dollars a piece. I don't even know how many there were. Then she has all that unbelievable art glass, sign pieces, paperweights, and things like that. So that auction is going to be on February 10th. Take a look at it. You can buy all that unbelievable stuff in the high-end auction. Some crazy, crazy things. And also, I have this car that will be in the auction. So it's a 1930 Ford five-window coupe. Take a look at this thing. Five-window coupe in the auction on the 10th, February 10th, next Saturday. So, guys, if you have an opportunity, go ahead, look at the auctions, bid on it. You have opportunity to buy some of the stuff from both of these unbelievable collections. I appreciate you all watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.